Hey guys, so thanks Carrie, we appreciate it. We're gonna take a walk down, uh, I guess take a boat ride, not walk, down the river walk uh, and talk about some things to do downtown Tampa with your family, uh, all kinds of activities down here, but there's a place called Riverwalk. Uh, it's a 2.6 mile sidewalk that kind of borders uh, the water and has everything from um, got restaurants and, and bars and um, museums. Uh, what else we got here? Boat rentals, uh, more restaurants, parks with all kinds of activities. So we're gonna go check it out. Thanks for joining us. Hey, who can talk about downtown Tampa and Tampa Bay without talking about the Tampa Bay Lightning right behind me? The arena, Amalia, Amelia Arena uh, is right on the water and they just do such a great job, such an awesome product for the family. Not to mention the Bolts have one of the best records in the country right now. So Go if, you're, if you're a sports fan, uh, this is the place to be. So there's a lot of new construction going on downtown. They're really, really beautifying this area. You have USF, University of South Florida uh, has a health center. It just went up a couple years ago. You can see that. We have the Channel Side Towers right here, residential uh, penthouse type living. Beautiful, beautiful um, views from at the top of those towers. You have a couple more apartment complexes going up right on the water here. You got some different cruise ships here. We can go out for different types of corporate events, um, holiday cruises. They do a, a great job with the boat parade down here. We got Jackson's and American Social. If you like sitting outside while you eat, which I always do, especially with the views like this, you have got to come to American Social. You've got to come to Jackson's. They have amazing food. American Social is my best, my best restaurant to send everybody to. Where should we go eat? Go eat at American Social. Now Tampa is home to um, several hotels right in the water. So, you know, you need to get a, a weekend getaway from the kids. Uh, maybe have mom and dad watch the children. You want to come down, enjoy uh, an adult weekend out at the Marriott or one of the downtown waterfront hotels. Uh, it's a beautiful place to stay uh, as a staycation. So saving money on airfare, Uber to cruise ships, drive downtown for a weekend getaway for a 15, 20 minute car ride. Um, enjoy the scenery here with some of these beautiful yachts and walkways, not to mention concert series um, and, and a ton of activity related to the arts. And we're going to check out uh, Curtis Hickson Park in a little bit. And, um, as well as the Straz Center, which is a huge performing arts center, having all Broadway plays coming here from from uh, from New York, uh, which is pretty cool. But I'm biased because I'm a New Yorker. Was in New York. Okay, so you got the Tampa Convention Center right here, home to uh, all kinds of fun stuff. We had the national championship here a couple years ago with I think Alabama and Oklahoma. Uh, this place was rocking. All the athletes were down here, and uh, and certainly next year when the Super Bowl is in Tampa Bay, whoop whoop. exactly. Once the Super Bowl comes to Tampa next year, uh, this downtown area really lights up. Really a great place to come down at night. The one thing that Tampa does really well in late January, early February, is Gasparilla. The locals love it, and people come in from out of town just to go to it. So this is one of the ships that they come through the channel with, and they shoot off cannons. And there's pirates everywhere. It is a great time. It's a festival. They have a kids one and then they do an adult one. It is a great time. If you have not been to Gasparilla, you are missing out.
So if you can see right behind me, you got the sidewalk right on the edge right there. That goes for two and a half miles along the water. Um, in some areas, it actually elevates over the water for uh, that riverfront river, river walk I was talking about. And uh, you have Curtis Hickson Park right here, famous for a lot of winter activities there. With, they have an ice skating, uh, indoor ice skating. They set a tent up. It's pretty awesome if you haven't been down there. Um, concerts in the park, farmers markets, um, you know, National Yoga Day, a couple thousand people down there doing yoga. So every activity you can think of is down uh, downtown. Also is um, the Glazer Family Museum. So right over my shoulder here. So if you're looking for a place to hang out with the kids for a couple hours, um, awesome, awesome experience in there. If you haven't been to the Glazer Family Museum, I think it's like $5 or $4. So really economical way to hang out with your, your family, get out of the house a little bit. And then uh, behind me also is the University of Tampa. If you can see in the background there, we got a couple, well, we'll go back and try to show you a picture of that, but University of Tampa is right in the water. Not a bad way to spend your college years. Downtown Tampa, waterfront dorms, and uh, it's really reputable college, Division II athletics. And did you know, did you know you can get a crew scholarship? That's right, so if you are good at rowing or your child is good at rowing, you can check out uh, getting a crew scholarship. University of Tampa is one of the Division II schools that really shine in that sport. So, hey, where there's a will, there's a way to get college money, right? Over here, we've got the Straz Center. The Straz Center is a um, performing arts center. That's gonna be behind me over here, uh, right there. And that's got everything you could think of, Broadway plays, I think, um, I don't know, um, I don't know, they have 15 different Broadway plays come there during during peak season. Uh, a lot of musicals, Aladdin. What else is it, Carrie? What is it? Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots, okay, so. <laughs> They've got everything you could think of at the Stras. They have season tickets there. Um, we've seen several several shows, comedians. Uh, I think I saw Rock of Ages there a couple times. But um, it's good stuff, good stuff. So my first restaurant that I visited when I moved to Tampa was Eulalie. Eulalie is a Native American warrior princess and she has a statue in her honor, but the restaurant is fantastic. Great drinks, they have an outdoor bar, they have two stories inside the restaurant. It is delicious food. You can walk out onto the lawn, you can play cornhole or walk by the water fountain. It's connected to the river walk, so you can keep walking further down and get to another great place called Armature Works. So over my shoulder right here, like Carrie said, is uh, Armature Works. And Armature Works was actually a, uh, a storage facility back in 1910 for the Tampa Electric Company. They used to store their electric cars there. Um, it's recently been renovated to a, a, an awesome restaurant um, event. It's not one restaurant, it's about 12 different restaurants uh, within one building. So a great place to go with the family. Again, if you like eating out, you like to have a couple of drinks, um, not everybody's gonna agree on what you wanna eat. Well, go someplace where they have about 12 or 13 different choices uh, and, and just phenomenal food, a great outdoor patio. A deck. There's a couple, some games for the kids outside. Shuffleboard and uh, you know, human-sized checkers. Uh, certainly, it's a great time. So come check out Armature Works. All right, guys. What's your favorite part of Tampa Bay? What do you say? Going to the beaches from Connor. Brady, what's your favorite part of Tampa Bay? Going to the beaches. Going to the beaches. All right. <laughs> Weather wins. All right, guys. That way. We're just going to make a... locals so it's not like we're tourists and we're gonna go visit celebrities houses like 
Derek Jeter's house that he's renting to Tom Brady, because um, that would be too touristy, but, oh, wait a minute, there it is, <laughs> uh, Derek Jeter's house, not a bad, not a bad, uh, bad view, right guys, so, hey Tom, hey Tom, but hey, we're not going to bother them because we're local and uh, that's not what we do here. <laughs> Downtown Tampa, waterfront Tampa, Riverwalk, beautiful homes, beautiful area. So uh, thanks for joining, guys. See you soon.